before discussing the chemical shift of the peaks in the spectrum, it's worth understanding a simpler but extremely useful way of interpreting a spectrum, which is based upon the intensity of the peaks. And the integration value tells you how many protons each peak corresponds to, and is calculated by measuring the area under each peak. If we have a look at the spectrum of methane, then there's just one peak because all of these hydrogen atoms are in the same electronic environment. However, if we look at this spectrum here, then there are two different types of hydrogen environment. Now, the mass spectrum may have given us this formula, but we don't know uh, what structure it is. But using integration, that will tell us that the area under these two peaks are in a t 2 to 3 ratio. So that means that we've got two equivalent hydrogens. And then somewhere else in the molecule, we've got a group of three equivalent hydrogens. And in the actual structure, you can see that that CH2 group would correspond to the two equivalent hydrogens. And the CH3 group would correspond to the three equivalent hydrogens. I mean, if the structure had been uh, slightly different, if there had been a chlorine there and over here was a hydrogen, then the spectrum would have shown three peaks and they would have been in a one to one to three ratio. In uh, this molecule, the peaks can be assigned to the structure by looking at the integration values. And integration shows that this corresponds to uh, one hydrogen. So that will be the resonance for uh, this hydrogen there. The three hydrogens will be the CH3 group next to the carbonyl. And this group here of six hydrogens are these six hydrogens. These are both in identical electronic environments. Uh, next, we'll look at the chemical shift and the different regions of the spectrum.